Complete training is available on itdvds.com. Now let's begin the training. When we first get a server, normally it doesn't have an operating system on it, so we need to put an operating system on it. And whether it be Windows or Linux, our first inclination might be just to put in that Windows or Linux CD and go ahead and build it. But there's a better way to do it. For HP servers, there's something called an HP Smart Start CD that we want to put in before we put in our Windows or Linux CD. Dell has something like it too. If you've got a Dell server, they've got what's called an Open Manage CD. And what these CDs do is they load all the updated drivers and for an HP server, all the HP specific software onto your server. Because if you have a problem without the HP software, it's really hard to tell what's wrong with your server. And if you actually have to call HP to get support on your server, then they're going to make you load this software anyways before they can help you out. And if you've got a problem with it and then you're trying to load it, you've got another problem because when you load it, it requires reboots. And if that server's in production, rebooting it might not be an option at that time. And it can cause more problems if you reboot a server when it's got a hardware issue. So we want to load this HP software and our updated drivers when we build our server. To do that, we just need to download the Smart Start CD first. So I'm here at hp.com. I'm going to click on Software and Driver Downloads. And I'm going to type in the type of server I have. I've got an HP DL380 G3. Click on the appropriate link here depending on what type of server you have. And then you want to click on the appropriate operating system that you want to install. I want to install Windows Server 2003, so I'm going to click on it. Now I'll just scroll down. Now I'm going to click on Software CD. Up here is the HP Smart Start CD. And you'll notice the version number over here. They update the Smart Start CD fairly often, so you always want to make sure you have the latest version because if you install uh, or build a server with an older Smart Start CD, then you're going to have to go in and update all the drivers and software anyway. So you might as well just download the new CD so you can do it all at once. I'm going to click on the link, HP Smart Start CD. Scroll down, click on Download. And I'll just save this to my desktop. And this is a zip file. When we unzip it, it's going to be an ISO file. So we'll just need to use our, our CD burning software to burn this to a CD and then we can go ahead and use it and we're gonna use it in the next movies.